Bill Carey Colot and his opponent from Boiling Springs, District 3, Chris Bone. These wrestlers have 265 wins and 13 losses between them, and of course all the losses belong to Bone. And Colot will be wearing the red anklets. Don't go away, folks. This is the premier bout of the tournament. Because you're looking at a kid who's world-class in everything. Uh, I can tell you this, of 136 and 0 is his record. He has only gone the route 10 times out of 136 times. That means he has either pinned or won on a technical fall 126 times. Only 10 wrestlers have ever been able to withstand a full six minutes with Carrie Colac. And Chris Bone, of course, has about two or three inches in height and reach. Bone is shot twice with Easy that, with looking for that single. Easy with it. Driving up high with a high bar, going for a back heel trip. Easy. Referee stops it as potentially dangerous. Let's go, New Jersey, all right. Need time? Run it. Injury. I don't think the Boiling Springs coaches are very happy about the, the delay. They're both inquiring about it. While we have a moment, I'd like to welcome in the stations throughout Pennsylvania in watching today's match. Today's telecast being originated by WLVT Channel 39 and being seen throughout the state of Pennsylvania. This is the largest crowd ever in the history of the PIAA championships. I believe, Larry, the 8,476 here at the Hershey Park Arena. Awful lot of people in there in attendance. Just a next brain. J just a next brain. Like just a fire, just well, a nosebleed. I, I, I'm sorry, but, you know, it's difficult for Colat, who's a world-class wrestler, to put himself on a level of... Uh, to reduce his momentum. He's good. I mean... Yeah, but Larry, all that... That, that was that, nothing wrong with the hole. Nobody's criticizing that. The question is, you know, it's the next sprint. Is his top. There's an easy Russian tie. Yeah. Goes around the back. But they no, cross the no, line. No, we're even. Here. Now Bone comes racing we're back. We're Bone we're thought neutral. he was taken we're down. Neutral. He wanted to go. Well, the fans are going to boo because they thought it was a takedown. Colat working really with body throws. I'm really off impressed the Russian with, tie. with Bone's effort thus far. He did not come to shirk his duty. This is a class wrestler. Nothing he has a yet. fall, a 17-7 win, and another fall in this tournament. So Bone of Boiling Springs wants to do battle. 53 great seconds one. left, first period. Bone has not lost this season either. He's 33-0-1. Colette is 37 and nothing. Now here's where he's going to work, Blair. He's going he's to take that arm, and he'll crank a cross on it. And he's going to go up high to the head, bar it sure? inside, and turn him. Are you sure? Or won't he go up front and give him a, a tight waist? A gut wrench from up front. Through. Watch what you're doing with it. Watch it. No higher now. No higher, son. No higher. See? He blocked that from moving up. Now he's trying to tilt. Bone was alert to that. Jerry Norakowski from Waterford, Pennsylvania is the referee. Where are you going? That's There's the choice. front move. Here. Well, eight seconds to go, and an exceptionally good effort put in here by Chris Bone to stave off Kerry Colot so far, trailing by a point. He's backing away. Here, you back it up. Stay in here. Five seconds left. That's a very correct call. There's and the period ends and it's top two to one. Colot. The fans don't like the no call. Three. Two elements are you bring him to the mat and gain control. He brought him to the mat, but the control came at the buzzer, not before it. Ready to go again in the second period. A two-to-one lead for Carrie Colot of Jefferson Morgan. <laughs> There's a nice move that uh, we'll show you later on replay as Colot goes up front, tries to bring him back with a bar combination, working off the trap, has the body. Look at the leg, though, Larry. Look where he was going to work the leg. Easy. Nice move was there, and it was quick. Look at the takedown here. Shrug. Now watch the ladder right off the tie. Ready? 
almost like an inside Japanese wizard, Marv, off that Russian tie. Yeah, he gets you pay, he gets you posted so solid in your your hip to hip with him. Then as he comes away, you think you're going to step away, and bing, the next thing you know, he whips you. So it's, it's, it's almost a judo move, really. One twenty-four to go in the period. Colot leading four-one over Chris right Bone. Watch where it goes. Watch where it goes. Double A championships at one thirty-five. Referee stopped it again. It's potentially dangerous. I uh, set. Watch that arm, son. The, the arms were up against the body. I don't know where the danger came from. May have been on his neck, Larry. If you could. But that's a down pressure. Optional start. Bottom pump. One neutral. Forty-two. Forty-two. Collat in the dark singlet, Bone in the gold singlet of Boiling Springs. In on the single. Did you see that, folks? You Never back, see a move like that back again. Flip. You see that backflip, folks? I want to tell you, that's no 54 seconds. Again, he's working up off the tie, and the referee stops him again. And the referee's going to hear from the fans about this. Watch this backflip. He says, I'll show you how to get away from a single leg. Here, go back underneath and come out the back door. When was the last time you saw that hold from a high school kid? When did you ever see it? That's right. That's something beyond belief. He's learning that down in Philadelphia when he's wrestling with those Olympians. Got a 6-2 lead. 48 seconds. Got that harm barred again, Larry. He's got that yeah, wrist. The referee stops it every time. Keep it on the back. And of course, Colat's not quite sure what to do with that well, since it's been stopped every time he's applied it. Easy with that arm. Now he'll take a, a gut wrench right from there and hit him. Now I think he's concerned about it. He's going to cradle him over. He has no points there. No, he's got to bring him back to the center. And. Bone not willing no to change. wrestle with him. No He's been defensive in this entire situation, and that might satisfy some people, but that's not the reason to be out there. Hey, hey, 12 seconds. 12 seconds remaining, second period. I don't, you know, 12 Larry, seconds. From Bone's perspective, it's really tough to figure out when you're wrestling a tornado what you're going to do because this guy is, he's, he, I give Bone a lot of credit for hanging as he has. You know, if you see what other people did against Colette in this tournament, I mean, Bone looks like a feature performance. Bone has not lost this year, but he's, uh, he's trailing 6-2. And as I said, one of the few guys that uh, withstand. Top and come. Colad is a superior, superior wrestler. Unbelievable what he does. And you got to understand that he's wrestling a wrestler that's won 129 times in his career. <laughs> Period ends. Center, guys. And it's a 6-2 to two lead for Carrie Colad. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to show you in slow motion something you may never see again. <laughs> Here it is, Colat's move. Incredible. <laughs> we kind of let the picture speak for itself, folks. A backdoor special. <laughs> Gives the escape. He wants to wrestle him uh, with this Olympic style. The third best, period. Best part of that move was he then converts it for two. Injury time. Run. Ah, he's hurt now. Two. Injury run. He did an inside roll off that uh, tie. And we may have... We'll take a look here, and I think uh, that elbow was really yanked there. Uh, Just pressure. Well, let's take a look now. It's right on that, that left elbow. And we'll take a look at it. As so he works off the Russian tie right here. Then takes the throw. It's almost like a, a, a wrist lock going up against the body. I think Larry... What he does is on that tie, it's a little different. He doesn't use the two hands out as a prop. He pins the arm inside, close to his body. And then when he came, actually when he spun away from him, it was at that point, it was at that point that it, it seemed he went to the legs and the arm was just yanked. 148 to go. It's a 6-3 to three lead. Bone trails by just three. Well, I guess we have a uh, injury time. Default. I guess that's it. Congratulations, guys. Good job. 
Kolak. Bad ends, default. By default, Kolak wins, remains undefeated. Well, I'm, Curry's not happy. I guess he wanted to wrestle, but Bone is unable to it didn't happen. But that comes with a level of skill, a super 